Hi everybody, my name is Tom and this is episode 2 of my gun ranking. We measured all the guns with double tap 2 and head popper so we could get the last out of all bullet based guns. For example the Type 25 that reached rank 20. 27. It actually has all the advantage of an assault rifle, so reload is good, rate of fire is good, uh, movement speed is good, just everything is good with it. But the problem of the gun is that it doesn't do that much damage like other assault rifles and it doesn't come with that much ammo like other assault rifles. And therefore it is not our first choice when it's about assault rifles. Um, yeah, so that's actually what I can say about it. There are better ones, so why should you use it? But the point is, it's still a very good gun and you can easily use it up to round 30, but later on you run, run out of ammo too often and therefore you should switch to another gun. The Chicom CQB or CBQ, whatever, is ranked 26th. Uh, it has. It is really fun to use that gun because it has such a high rate of fire. When you pack a punch it until you get the select fire achieve, uh, attachment, you can actually empty the whole clip in like one second and that way you can take out full hordes of zombies really, really quickly. The problem just here again, like the Type 25, um, it, it doesn't have that are high max damage output and therefore you will run out of ammo quite quickly. I would not use it any longer than around 30, but the damage per bullet, you see it is 6000, that's actually pretty good, it's pretty okay, just the max ammo is not that good with 240 bullets that we have at our disposal. And therefore, um, a very fun gun, a very cool gun, but definitely not one of the best ones. Rank 25 goes to the RPG. The RPG is the rocket launcher and as an explosive gun it doesn't profit by the headshot perk or head popper or and neither by double tap 2. Therefore, if we measured all the guns without double tap 2 and head popper, the rocket launcher would actually be on rank 4, which is pretty high. It has a very nice damage output, but the problem is we damage ourselves again. The movement speed is extremely low and um, it is just hard to control the, the shots you actually give with it because the rate of fire is so freaking high with the gun. It uh, shoots really, really fast and you are likely to kill yourself. And uh, therefore, I actually do not really recommend it, especially because when we want to use an explosive we still have the Mustang and Sally that ranks better and therefore why not using the Mustang and Sally if you can so the rocket launcher is actually not a gun that I would recommend Rank 24 goes to the M16 wall gun. Well, the M16 is a very great gun and all of us know that we can even uh, go easily through around 40. The point is just that we have to buy ammo maybe twice approximately and that is exactly why the gun is not rated that high because I assume we only have one set of ammo so we are not allowed to buy ammo and that is the reason why it didn't rank any higher. But the real in-game experience Experience with the M16 shows that it is actually ba way better than rank 24. You know, it's an assault rifle, it's fully automatic, makes it fun to use, um, it's quite stable, um, it's easy to control, reload is good. It even has this grenade launcher in earlier round you can, rounds, you can use it to make some crawlers. Um, kill speed is very good overall, so it's a great gun, and if you run nearby it, definitely a nice choice. Rank 23 goes to the AK-74U, so just another wall gun. Um, I measured a little bit more damage with the AK-74U. I don't know, this might be in the error tolerance. I think the guns AK-74U and M16 are actually nearly equally good, so when you play with both, you notice not a big difference between them. They are just um, they are just um, different um, how they are made, like the AK-74U is a SMG, the M16 is an assault rifle, so movement speed is a bit different, the sights are different and so on, um, but that's basically it about those guns. They are really nearly equal, we could say, so I'm kind of happy that they just ranked after each other. 
Rank 22 goes to the 5-7 Dual Wielded. Well, um, again, another pistol, finally. We haven't seen one for quite a long time now. The problem with the Dual Wielded pistols is just that they are not really precise. You can't go ADS and therefore a lot of shots miss. And that led to a very low damage per bullet compared to the single wielded 5-7s. And uh, I actually person personally do not like that when I can't aim that precise because I just um, I try to aim for the head but then I again get 60 points for the kill because obviously the bullet hit the chest and not the head and that's uh, that's a bit sad. So rank 21 is instantly the 5.7 single wielded. Uh, very very cool how balanced these guns obviously are. The single wielded gun has less ammo but it is way more precise so like the <coughs> the, the additional precision you have by being able going ADS um, just equalizes the the the, um, the less shots that you have. So um, the five seven single wheel that does a lot of damage. You see, ten point six k per bullet. That is a lot, especially for a pistol. And uh, it's also very precise. It has like no recoil. You can aim for the head and then just spray your um, yeah, not spray. <laughs> spam your fire button there we go and it's like the gun will never go up or so or never show any kind of recall or something like that something very very cool and uh, with a pistol you run at run at 100% which is also very good and uh, yeah it's overall a quite nice gun the problem is just it's um, semi automatic and therefore the kill speed will never be that high but um that's actually not that bad uh, so a cool gun fun gun stylish gun Check it out if you haven't yet. Rank 20 goes to the SMR. Well, this might be a little bit of a surprise for you, but the point is the SMR, um, first of all, when you pack a punch it, it gets very, very precise. So when you, you know, when you have it not pack a punch, then you ADS and aim for something, and then you shoot, it's like the bullet goes two meter besides where you aimed. So it's not precise at all, but pack a punch, this effect actually reduces a lot. And uh, the point why it ranks so high is just that it has a lot, a lot of ammo, really a lot. <coughs> it's a bit of mystery, like I have also seen this with the 5.7 dual wheeler. When you take it out of the Pack-A-Punch machine, you get a certain kind of uh, reserve ammo and then you get a max ammo drop and the uh, ammo actually fills above this uh, max ammo that you heard first. That's kind of weird, but it's the case with the SMR and you get a 420 reserve ammo after a max ammo. And uh, yeah, with uh, the 450 bullets in total, you can do a lot of damage. Although the damage per bullet is not that high, but uh, when you have so many shots, um, yeah, the overall max damage output of the gun actually gets quite high. The point is just the gun is very, very slow until you have fired those fire 450 bullets. A lot of time passes by, so I would not really recommend it. Yo, that was episode 2, hope you enjoyed, and in episode 3 we start to see really, really good guns, so be excited for that, have fun, see ya, bye.